Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be reviewing Alima Pure. They're an all-natural cosmetic brand based out of the US and their products are crafted from simple and all-natural ingredients. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the brand, but their founder, Kate O'Brien, actually created the company based on the premise of minimal ingredients for maximum impact. All of Alima Pure products are free of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, diamethicone, uh, petroleum, talc, bismuth, oxychloride and nanoparticles super safe a very conscious brand and i absolutely love that and i'm always testing for new things i've actually purchased the two lunar products a while ago and the two products i actually got are their bronzer and their satin finishing powder i found these products at a store in toronto they're called detox market canada they carry a wide variety of green beauty brands so i really love visiting that store to try new things and just i guess get familiar with new brand names so lima pier was one that was recommended to me by someone in the store before i bought these i was mean to transition to a more natural finishing powder for a while i can't remember the brand that i used before but it was a drugstore brand and it just didn't seem right for me to purchase a product because i got into green beauty for me to toss out the stuff that I already had, it just seemed pretty wasteful. In other words, I just kept using it until I ran out. Satin finishing powder, it's in the color Hane. And this product is five grams. It's a loose powder. It has two sections and you can close it if you don't want any more powder to float up. And then you can obviously open it halfway. It's a nice soft finishing powder. What I like about this is that you don't need a lot and a little goes a long way and it finishes really nicely on your skin. I actually have it on right now. You can't really tell obviously because it's the finishing powder. I feel like it really sets my foundation nicely. Compared to the other powders I've used in the past, it doesn't look cakey on my face. And this actually rates a three on Think Dirty. Um, so it's a pretty clean product. I love it. It's lasted me quite a while. I've had this for over a year now and I still have tons left over. The bronzer on the other hand, I use the darkest color Trinidad and this has 4.5 grams. I haven't tried any other bronzer colors, so this is my first one, but I did choose the darkest one and I do have it on today. I don't know if you can tell, but it gives a nice slight glow on my face, which I really like and the brushes that I use for these, I use the contour brush from Real Techniques and I honestly just dab it in the powder and kind of tap it off in the lid and just kind of go around like this. And I will always start with my cheek here and kind of work it down. If I'm a little bit too heavy handed that day by accident, I'll just take my buffing brush by Real Techniques, which I actually use this for my finishing powder. And so I'll just take this um, to kind of buff out my bronzer if I've used too much and I find that these two brushes work really well for it And I really like it But yeah, the bronzer I absolutely like as well. It's again the same texture. It's light It stays on all day pretty much for me I have no issues with having to touch up the most I'll touch up using this bronzer is maybe once and that's if I'm wearing makeup all day, which is not often So if I'm just getting ready for the night, I'll just put it on and I'm good to go for the rest of the night um, I really like it. It's a nice subtle color uh, for me. It works really well with my skin color. I'm an olive tone. Before I transitioned to this bronzer, I actually was using Tarte's bronzer for the longest time. I think I had that for honestly like two, three years. Again, there was no sense of me tossing that product out because I purchased it and there was, it would just be wasteful for me to toss in the trash. So I felt the need to finish it. If you guys have any questions on these, let me know. I know it's kind of like a brief overview, but I do like these a lot. It just makes me feel better that I'm using a more green product. If I didn't answer any questions that you might have on these bronzers, write them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I just, I feel a little bit out of my green beauty review game lately because I haven't done one of these in a while. Anyways, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to my channel below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.